Hey, welcome to another episode of Smart Tips. I'm Jeff Gonzalez, and today I'm going to walk you through something that might seem somewhat simple, but a couple of small details are really important when putting in place a linked record field type. Without further ado, let's go over it. So in this example solution, we have projects and we have tasks. We know that we want them to be related to each other. We want to make it so that task can only belong to one project, right? There might be multiple tasks that are assigned to that project, but each individual task can only belong to one project. We might have templated tasks, right? There might be design phase that applies to numerous different projects as an example, but we wanna make sure that there's a unique design phase for each project and we don't want it to be able to be tied to numerous projects because then at that point, what is it related to and how far along are we? We wouldn't know. So really important that we actually build that linked record field type instead of building the linked record field in projects, we want to build it in tasks. And I'll show you why right now. Checkbox is extremely important. Once we uncheck that now, it won't allow it to link to multiple records. Important to build it from the tasks end because if we refer over to the projects app and look at that same field type that was just created on the other end, we're not able to change those settings at all from this side. So this is actually built this way so that we can say, okay, numerous tasks can belong to this project, but mm, only one project can belong to the task. And that's exactly how we would build it to achieve those outcomes. This applies to a lot of different use cases. This is just one really elementary example and one really small detail that a lot of people overlook when they're building. Let me know if this was helpful. If you already were aware of this, hats off to you. If you weren't aware of it, go build the solution of your dreams. Thanks for watching.